Starlink users, beware, this could kill your internet. Trust me, I know from my personal experience. I went without internet for just over two weeks. I have a home business I have to run. I had no internet other than I could hot spot off of my phone. That was killing my data too. So watch this video all the way to the end so this does not happen to you. So what happened was all of a sudden one morning I had no internet. I tried several things. I diagnosed everything and I could not figure it out. I called a local Starlink repairman because I had my dish way up on a tower and I did not want to go up that high. So I called him because I also wanted it moved lower and I also wanted him to maybe find out if he knew what the problem was. After sharing his experience with me with this kind of issue, he figured the cable that runs from the router up to the, or should I call it the modem, up to the dish was either burnt out or the dish itself had burnt out. So after we figured out that the dish was probably the problem, it had burnt out, I had to get in contact with Starlink. So I started that process. And then I had to prove to them that I didn't do anything wrong, that it was not my fault. After two weeks, I received my new Starlink dish. Why? Because it was a faulty issue within the Starlink dish. They gave me a new dish at no extra cost to me. They came good for it, which I was very happy for. So like I said, I was still out of internet for two to three weeks, and that cost me money. Also, my Starlink repairman also told me a little secret. He said that this, he told me about the heater that's in the dish. I had no clue. I, I figured it had a heater to keep the ice and the snow, but I did not know that during the summer months that you could shut off the snow melt feature. I didn't know that. I've never seen literature on this at all. Not only did I not know about this feature, but if I'd have known, I would have shut it off during the summer months because that would have saved me energy as well because this thing will be working automatically and sending heat up to the dish when you really don't need it and you're wasting energy. Not to mention that you're burning the heaters out. So now I'm going to show you on the settings on your Starlink app how you can shut the heater off. So there's actually three settings. I'm going to show you how each setting works and hopefully save you this issue down the road. First, go to your Starlink app on your phone and go to the home page. Now you want to go down to settings, click on settings, and then you want to go to Starlink right here. And you're going to see the feature snow melt here at the top. Click on the side arrow there. Now you're going to have three different settings. Off, you want to select this option. It disables the heating function entirely, conserving energy when snow or ice is not a concern, like during the warmer months. This is what you want to choose after winter during the warmer months so that this problem doesn't happen to you and you go without internet for two or three weeks. The next one is automatic. This default mode allows the dish to detect and respond to snow or ice buildup by activating the heater as needed. Balancing performance with energy consumption. So this is what why I still have it on because we're expecting a snowstorm this afternoon. And the third option is preheat. Preheat, activate this mode, warms the dish in anticipation of a snowfall, preventing accumulation before it starts. This setting is particularly useful when a snowstorm is expected. Hope this video helps you with your Starlink internet, that you don't ever lose internet. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.